Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus Sky, as always a really cool one. I didn't expect to do the uh, series video this early. Um, a little disclaimer here, um, take what you see with a grain of salt if I say that correctly. Um, you know the quality is really poor and I've been comparing some other images from series and um, there's something going on, I can assure you, with the bright spot if you haven't seen it yet. Now here's the bright spot and uh, we can already see this but um, you know it's quite funny because this was the only image we had for the longest time. Um, it's, it's, you know, I actually made a video re a really really long time ago just with, you know, just to point out that it's ridiculous to have one image of this planet only. Um, it's it's ridiculous. Now, if you look here at the colors, it, it looks really interesting. Looks like uh, it has an atmosphere, uh, probably some ice and uh, going on there on the surface. Uh, but they always say like, oh, we expect to see ice beneath its surface. All right, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm really, um, I really believe that there's ice right there right now, but there's more going on there. Uh, so listen up to the intro if you wish or not, but uh, here you go, if you don't believe me, uh, we'll look at the images of Sirius. And um, look, I, I mind you, an artist impression, so it's not real. And this is all we have. Now let's go to the orbit, um, let's check it out. And here it is, and here's Mars. You can see it's, um, well, it's relatively close uh, to Mars orbiting, uh, well, your path, you know. Um, so let's talk about this because I really believe that there's ice on the surface. And now we'll go and jump into the anomalies in a moment because it's really exciting. Um, now let me see. Oh yeah, space.com here. Um, a summer day on Mars may get up to 20 degrees Celsius near the equator. This and that or to minus 73 degrees Celsius. So it, that's, that's interesting. Now let's think about this. Um, here's Mars, and we're going to, you know, look at the distance from Mars uh, to the Sun, you know, and just count by the rings here, one, two, three, four, you name it. Um, so, it should be, just look how far it is, if you just calculate just by yourself here, you could at least say that Ceres can get, uh, get can warm itself up, um, you know, let's, let's be shabby about this, and let's say 10 degrees Celsius in, in the plus. So, um, you know, it's very interesting because I do think that it does has, uh, have liquid water, at least. Um, so they can tell me whatever they want. There's something going on with Sirius. Um, so, all right, let's, let's look at the new images. And here you go. No atmosphere, nothing. You know, black and white. Great. Horrible quality. But uh, let's jump into this. Why not? Um, particularly because when you look at this image here, a smaller one, I've actually got it in Photoshop here. Um, the quality is a lot higher than the one with the light. How, how is that? Why? And as you can see, and they've actually admitted it on the, um, on the website, that they've been trying to enhance it for clarity, you know, but uh, <clears throat> it's a bit uh, shabby. You know, when you look at this, there's the, 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 these are actually sides where you don't see the light. And now when you finally have an image where you can see the light here, the quality is completely destroyed. Now we'll get into the quality a bit later, into uh, greater length. <coughs> and let's jump into this because this is really interesting. And this, <coughs> this video won't take too long, excuse me. But there are some interesting things I would like to point out. Um, so let's look at the light here. And I, I just want to remind you to take it with a grain of salt here. Um, because I really oppose this to enhance this kind of you know, quality. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems you know that I, I have been right for the longest time, and because I'm I'm really skeptical about myself as well. Uh, from time to time, you got to do that. And uh, so, anyways, let's jump into this. Forgot to make a duplicate layer here. Let me call this brush, as always, and uh, this one as well. We'll need that one. And let's check out what's going on with those lights because I'm not sure at this point it really does look um, like it is, um, you know, natural. And two pixels here, two there, and let's make it red. Um, let's go. All right. Um, so you got this little bright light there. Now what's going on here? No, that's fine. So we got this little bright light there. 
you can see a little, like vaguely that you can see like a natural shape going to that bright light um you know could be due due to its shape maybe composition and everything and you know i just just kept looking at this so it's it is very interesting you can vaguely make out here that there's something leaning against this but i'm not quite sure what this is um you know just want to remind you i have a new keyboard and it is really incredibly tough to work with this keyboard um it's it's one of these keyboards where they made it shorter for like an inch or two and i use the right control all the time but i don't have it and they they made the left control really smaller and uh, there's no photoshopping without a second uh, control button so i looked at this first and i was thinking it looks a lot like a darn building like a house here you can see it and um you know i just couldn't believe it i was looking at this thinking um it might possibly go further up here um you know the shadows here correspond and everything even though you know the base image is of extremely low quality um then you got this really interesting uh, shape here and then you got this um you can see it and the shadow and lighting everything is fine so that's interesting as well so we got a couple of interesting shapes to go with here um and you know but before we'll get into this so i've literally pointed out everything here um let me zoom out show you a couple of small things i really found this interesting as well but i'm going to show you the building just a moment hold on just a second because that was really uh suspiciously artificial now um i would you know i always post my enhanced versions on google plus uh, you'll find the link in the description eventually if you are on my google plus please go to my youtube channel click here and follow me there so thank you very much that's that um the left side here i would uh, completely ignore it just, there are some interesting thicker lines there but um you know the interference is too much here um so basically if you go and enhance it you will be like creating cities out of thin air well not thin air you know but uh, it's it's too risky to go to this um broad area here. So definitely ignore it when you will uh, look at this for yourself. So, um, you know, when looking at the planet here, we got this really interesting, like, triangular, weird thing going on there, sticking out. And um, we look at this, you got a uh, small little ball here. And it's almost like a really, really tall, kind of weird external thing. But here's the, here's the thing. Um, what shall we do now? I think I'll flip it. Um, let's do that for the moment. And so what is happening right now, you can see that it's it's all about, you know, thinking, um, analyzing, um, you know, just, just to be sure that something is what you are actually um, looking at. And it's actually that. Um, hold on. So now you can see that it doesn't look like a building anymore or a house, so to say and um there's something you know it's it's really interesting it's like going inside this crater and then you can see this line in further um something here i think I, these lights are really interesting can't wait to check them out um i think that they will be natural in the end but um <coughs> yeah so that's that about the lights you know and um so let's check out the buildings here um that is actually the most interesting part i do find it very interesting um all right let's start drawing this out you can see this look how extremely interesting it actually looks like um you have like a square here a square here and let's continue up you have another square right there <coughs> and you can see that the sides are elevated um, now there's some kind of you know um, ridge here like um, how shall we call this again or whatever but, uh, you, but you can see that it's like you know this this it's it's already starting guys I mean the the, the first couple of images after the very the, the only image out there totally alone like um, absolutely ridiculous we know of the existence of this planet for 200 years or so and yet only now and we get some images you know not not that like any observatory on earth would like give us like an interesting image no of course not um so we got also this crater here and um, i found this interesting as well because uh you can see the curvature here and it's like this weird curve it's like a crater inside of a crater but uh, let me remove this 
and it looks a bit like some kind of basin like um, I'm not sure if that even English but I know it's French and Dutch but so I hope it's English too um, we well, look at the shadow here but I'm quite sure that the shadow is not actually in there and it's it's like it is in there but it's not um, this is really suspicious area when you com compare it to the base image and uh, then we got something in the middle here but I do believe that it has some kind of squarish like a more um, you know think of an iPhone um, icon on your phone where you have kind of these um, curved ridges edges sorry so yeah that, that, that was really interesting we got something here going on and um, you know I hope you like this video that's for sure I mean I, there's nothing too crazy and this is um, I'm not entirely sure myself at this point as well but uh, like I said there's definitely something suspicious going on and I'll show you in a moment why a really interesting uh, natural formation here um, this is the thing that we were talking about it was actually sticking out now the interesting part is I can't find the ball uh, but there's you know you can see it's it looks more like a natural formation or not and uh, you know I wish I could just draw this out as well but at this point we really have to wait for some uh, high quality images now um, I was really astonished to actually read that um, NASA made 30,000 images of Vesta but I you know we can only check out a couple of them and that uh, they are doing the, the same thing all over again if you remember the Clementine mission uh, go Google it there were like 19,000 images we never got to see till this date and that's ridiculous I mean it's like a 50 year old mission and uh, we got to, we got to see some images but that's about it um, so we have this um, I found this really interesting as well not not you know not something crazy that I mean it's not all that crazy but it's it's like some kind of wall kind of weird structure in the middle here um, and this is like a little broken off 90 degree angle artificial thing going on there and this is very 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 artificial this corner is very very sharp um, so yeah I think um, and that's about it you know I can't wait for the next images I must say uh, tomorrow will be another really crazy video um, if you remember kind of the hidden city in the Apollo images uh, Richard C. Oakland uh, you name it uh, they all covered it so I have finally the opportunity to check this out for myself and you'll hear tomorrow the conclusion will there be an undercover city in Apollo 10 images or not um, yeah, I can't say too much that's uh, that's you know the surprise here so before you click away uh, hold on here now let me show you the base image here um, it's it's you know you'll see why I'm talking about so much about this base image and let me see the wrong one here it should be this one uh, so you can see you know it's it's weird uh, you can see those lines are actually in there and I don't know what monitor you're using here to check this out you can definitely see the uh, square objects here where you can see that the pixels are aligned and everything uh, but this is very crazy and um, this is kind of the reason why you should really really look out because I don't believe that I, we should be enhancing this at the moment but I couldn't you know resist and that's because I see more and more confirmation every single time that what I am doing here, even though it, that it is very risky, that in the end I will get the confirmation that it is actually in there. And uh, you know, I'm getting more surprised every day. Um, so let's check out the other image here, this one. And uh, you know, I'm waiting for some more images. We'll make a longer video and uh, a bit more in depth. Let's go to the original one there. Uh, you can see how smooth it is. Uh, none of these artifacts here and um, it's pretty cool I must say but you, can you see you know what my problem here is um, there's definitely something going on now we have an interesting side of the planet with the lights um, the quality is absolutely disastrous and you look here you can see uh, it has been edited and everything that's fine but the quality is disastrous so we actually fixed this image where it's now actually comparable to this quality if not better and um, yeah I think uh, that's it and uh, if you're interesting hold on uh, interested hold on for a minute eh? um, yeah there's some interesting stuff going on here as well you know what I'll give you uh, this enhanced version on Google Plus as well as a bonus um, do follow me on Google Plus hope you enjoy this video and uh, you know I'm always honest I will tell you uh, what the hell is going on and um, you know it could be in there could not be in there but I'm quite sure that at least those buildings are actually in there um, I know this this little thing here next to the uh, bright light there 
I'm uh, positive that is in there. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's why we're doing a video, right? I can actually tell you, uh, you know, what areas you should not trust, at least, you know, in my opinion, in my experience here, and uh, what areas are actually in there, you know? Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. A really interesting mission here. So thank you very much for listening. See you in the next video tomorrow in a really epic, crazy video. I've been uh, waiting to do this video for a very long time. I had actually a different video, um, you know, but due to my keyboard, I wasn't able to release it last week. And, um, you know, I got really tired. I needed some time off. So, um, well, we're back again. Just needed uh, a weekend for myself, so to say. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video again and uh, have a nice weekend. See you tomorrow. Be sure to check out the video tomorrow. You, you will probably be shocked. So, uh, check you out on Google Plus and in, in my uh, new video. See you around. Like, subscribe, follow me on Google Plus.